Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to another channel update video. Today we're going to be doing more of a vloggy video than a gameplay with me talking over it video. I don't really, it's kind of weird. I'm not, uh, I'm not the best at, at doing this sort of thing, so let's just, uh, kind of go with me and try to have some fun with it. Uh, anyway, you guys probably noticed, uh, some stuff going on over there. That is, uh, moving boxes. Uh, my room is a complete disaster. My office is a disaster. We are in the process, my wife and I are in the process of moving across country. Not like east to west, but south to north, uh, across the U.S. We currently live in Arkansas, and we're moving up to North Dakota to be closer to family. Uh, since I did leave my engineering job that brought us to Arkansas, we're finally able to move back up uh, close to home. Uh, so, my wife and I both grew up in the Odas, that's Minnesota, North Dakota, and South Dakota. Kind of, I mean, we moved around. She stayed, I kind of bounced around uh, growing up. So, uh, we're finally able to go back closer to family, and that's uh, that's really, really nice. Uh, so, uh, to kind of get this started, I wanted to thank my Patreon sponsors. You guys know that down below, in the video description, every video description, I uh, include a link to Patreon. And we have quite a few people who are very gracious enough to help me out uh, financially donating to Patreon. So if you wanted to get on the list, you can go ahead and check that out down below. Uh, I'd like to thank Lex, William Carney, Codeman, Auto Dave, Jordak, Andrew Cook, Life Rage, Siphon2, The Night Huntress, Mark Sims, Logan, Michael Mattia, Master Violence, Marcus Reese, and Mason Sprite for your continued support of the channel. I really do appreciate it. Uh, also, if there's any of you new guys, I'm sorry, I have not uh, updated the end slate to videos yet in July. Uh, just because things have been absolutely, uh, well, <laughs> chaotic. I guess that's a, the best way to put it. So if you guys forgive me about that, uh, next month, hopefully we can get going on it uh, as soon as it clears on Patreon. Alrighty guys, so next up on the list is some fan mail that I've gotten. Now I haven't done a video of, of me reading fan mail. I think it uh, sometimes is a little bit hard to read handwriting and stuff like that, but I did want to acknowledge uh, everyone who has sent it to me over the last, uh, it's roughly a year or so. Uh, that we begin to get. Uh, John sent one back in July of 2016. I've read through them all and I've kept all of my fan mail uh, in a box. And actually when I get my new office set up, uh, I'll be having a, a poster board on the side where I can just pin all of the pin all of my uh, fan mail to it. Uh, so we'll be going with that uh, pretty soon, but I just wanted to acknowledge you guys as, as uh, thank, uh, kind of a thank you to send this out, even though it might be a bit late. Uh, so John, has drawn this, which is the Blitz logo. Check that out! Did a pretty good job of that. Uh, pretty exciting there. And he wrote a nice little letter about how he found my channel and, and stuff like that too. Uh, I just wanted to write a quick thank you letter. Every day when I'm done with work, I jump on my computer to see what you have uploaded. I think a lot of you guys are like that too. I greatly enjoy your YouTube content and find it very interesting. So uh, thanks, John. Thank you for sending me my logo and uh, a nice little letter. And Lisa Clements also sent a letter. This one's kind of long, but I wanted to show you her little artwork that she drew up there. There's a little kitty. It's Fuzzy Boots, Miss, Mr. Fuzzy Boots up top, and then there's like a, a little a little doggy down there that says "Bye Blitz." Uh, pretty cool little letter. Uh, so thank you, Lisa. Even though it's like a year late since I've actually acknowledged uh, receiving this one. So Drago44 says, "I'm a huge fan of your videos, and I love that you are family-friendly YouTubers who are absolutely do not say any cuss words whatsoever." My dad does not like me watching YouTubers who cuss, so I thank you for that. I also like to take your time on your day to, to give us hilariously awesome videos like Slime Rancher Tabs and Feeding Grow Fish. Really appreciate what you do, and so don't stop just because the haters say to. Well, if I stopped, I couldn't pay my, vi my, my bills anymore, which would be bad. Uh, then I would be living somewhere where I couldn't live. Wait, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we'll be continuing doing YouTube for quite a long time. So thank you. Thank you, Drago. So next up on, on the old uh, vault of fan mail is a letter from Kelomi. And uh, this one's actually fairly long. It's kind of front and back, so I'll save you guys the whole thing. But uh, I did want to thank you, Kelomi, for sending me this letter. Talks about the tabs videos and VR videos. Actually, interesting. Tabs uh, is coming up here in hopefully the next month. Hopefully, the end of August, we'll we'll finally be able to play it. Uh, August, September, we'll play the new update. I'm really, really looking forward to that one. Uh, maybe uh, Fortnite was my most anticipated game, and then Tabs was another one. I've been looking to, forward to Fortnite for a long time, and Tabs only for about the last year or so. So uh, hopefully, hopefully Tabs comes out pretty good. So I've got uh, two more pieces of fan mail, and uh, the first one is from one of you guys uh, named George. Obviously one of you guys, that wouldn't make sense, right? Uh, and George says, only 
to me, only to Blitz. So I'm going to share just a little bit with you guys the king of Blitztopian Empire. I'm the president of Blitztopia. I uh, probably already have one, but I hope you like it as much as I like your videos. Sincerely, George. Uh, and George has sent me this, which is my new mouse pad. Uh, and it's got my logo on it. Isn't that cool? Uh, my logo on a mouse pad. I never never thought that. And actually, this comes in good timing because my last mouse pad was really bad. It had like nasty dead skin all over it and the, the edges were peeling up off the cloth. So I've been using that one for a while. So thank you, George, for sending that one out. Alrighty. So we have one more piece of fan mail today. And this is from Riker from Holland, Pennsylvania. This is Dear Blitz. Uh, the reason I chose you is because I watch you play games every day when I come from home from school. And if you did not know, this is a class assignment. Everyone got to pick one favorite celebrity, and I chose you because of the way you play video games and you're funny. Okay, <laughs> I guess I'm funny. Uh, so he says, can you respond back to me, uh, but answer my question? So I'm not going to write you an email back, or a, a, a mail back, Riker. I will uh, just discuss this in, in together, uh, in, in this video. He says, my question is, what is it like being a famous YouTube gamer? Is it fun and exciting, or is it terrible and a waste of your time? So that's a that's a, a question that really hits home. Um, it, it really does uh, because, <laughs> well, growing up, like we are, I'm part of the generation that parents thought that video games were a waste of time. Like I grew up playing Atari and Nintendo and stuff like that. And um, like all of the parents were saying, it's such a waste of time, it's rotting your brain, blah, blah, blah. And now I professionally am rotting my brain, right? Or I'm professionally like, I make video games and I share it with you guys, or I don't make games, I make videos and share it with you guys. And it's my job to play games, which they thought rotted your brain away. Uh, but realistically, it's not a waste of time. Uh, I don't think so anyway. And I don't consider myself famous either, because, um, well, I don't. <laughs> I'm just a regular guy uh, that's in his third bedroom in his house and having fun playing games and sharing it with the world. So it, it's really kind of a, a weird thing, because I know uh, it's taken a lot for my parents to adjust to it, that I was a civil engineer, and I was one of those kind of senior engineers, and I was real respected in what I did, and I just kind of like, go away. <laughs> So I, I resigned that job and I became this and and like now I can I can put a video up and a hundred thousand people can watch it. That is really crazy to me. Like a hundred thousand people watch a video or in the last twenty four hours six hundred thousand of you guys have watched videos. Which is ridiculous to me. That's that's uh, insane. So yeah, is it a waste of time? I think I think that's kind of a trick question because video games and entertainment are somewhat a waste of time but is it a good waste of time yeah i think so um it's kind of fun just to sit down and relax and watch a game or watch a movie or watch a tv show i don't really see um what i do any different than say sitting down and watching a tv show for a half an hour or an hour um i don't i don't think i think uh, there's like a whole change going on in media right now and the old media is kind of scared of what the new media is doing and then you get guys like me who quit professional jobs to play video games professionally, I guess. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of weird. Um, I still don't consider myself famous. Like, nobody's come up to the street and saw who I was and shook my hand or anything. Uh, no one's done that, uh, which is kind of cool. Like, I can still kind of go under the radar. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can keep that a little bit. But if you guys do see me on the street, go ahead and come up to me. Uh, that'd be totally fine too. So yeah, it's it's kind of a kind of a weird thing. I know my parents have had a hard time dealing with it until they talked to their neighbor, and that was kind of interesting. Like they talked to their neighbor, and the neighbor's like, "You do realize that what I do is like the dream job for every kid now." So it's kind of cool. Uh, I know a lot of you guys look up to me as a kind of a role model sort of thing. So I hope I don't let you guys down, and I, I hope you keep enjoying the content that we're creating or I'm creating, actually we're creating. That's a, a good segue into the next little segment I have. So thank you guys for sending all the fan mail. We'll get that going up on my poster board as soon as I get a poster board. I said we, right? Uh, the word we created. Uh, that's right, I've actually hired an editor now, uh, another YouTuber. You guys know him, probably a lot of you know him. Uh, choosing right now to kind of keep him quiet, uh, keep the name quiet so we can get things worked on and kind of get uh, a little bit of workflow better stabilized and 
uh, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, all of the all of my videos now, or most of my videos now, are going to be edited by him. All of the thumbnails and a lot of the music background and stuff like that is all going to be done by him. I'll still do the metadata, still do the game choices and, and stuff like that. So it'll all still be there, but things are going to be maybe a little bit differently. I know some of you guys have pointed out the the new edits and enjoying the new edits and stuff. So we're trying to trying to keep it kind of simple, like I typically do, and uh, but better transitions and stuff like that so it's gonna be a little bit a little bit wonky uh, as we figure it out and try to get some of the bugs out of the mix and <laughs> trying to get some of the upload times because my internet here is garbage um, Comcast is got a monopoly on my area and it's trash um, they don't care about us so uh, we just pay a lot of money for really slow internet uh, so anyway uh, we'll try to be getting um, some new I think I get gig uh, get a gig internet when we move and trying to get a business line so I can actually uh, upload things faster. So we'll see. So it has been a kind of a, a nasty summer for me. <laughs> I guess I've been kind of gone. You guys really haven't known because I haven't done a channel update video in a while. Uh, but uh, so beginning of June, I started doing a bunch of pre-recording and then like the middle of June, I was gone. I went to EA Play and E3, which are in Hollywood and Los Angeles. I went there and I spent like uh, about a week there, really good time, learned a lot of uh, cool stuff uh, from the inside of EA and uh, like Facebook, what Facebook's been doing and uh, YouTube and Twitch, what they've been doing too. And just, that was a really, really neat trip. I met with uh, a lot of good people. I met with Baron, uh, we messed around, uh, went out and got ice cream and dinner some nights and Star Snipe and Blue and just had a, a really good time. Met a lot of the guys uh, that do um, like the Battlefield and the Battlefront videos stuff like that. So really neat to see how kind of close connected uh, the YouTube community is and kind of like how the Twitch is like the, the sibling of YouTube, but they don't really mingle very much. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's kind of an interesting dynamic. So uh, we did do that and I flew directly from there to the new city we're moving to. And as we, um, as soon as I got there, we went to like the bank and we got pre-approved for a new mortgage and then we went and searched out new houses we looked at like 25 houses in two days and we found one that's really cool for us uh, it's got a nice new office for me that's a lot bigger than the current room that I'm in it doesn't have dents in the back wall from HTC Vive controllers smacking into it uh, it's a it's a nice room hopefully it'll work out well for the new office it's about 50% uh, bigger than this one so instead of like eight feet across it's like 12. So uh, hopefully it'll work out a lot better for us in um, as as a community. Hopefully the room will be better. And I'll be upgrading like my microphones, a $45 microphone that I bought five years ago or so. Hopefully I'll be upgrading that into something more professional that doesn't pick up all the background noise and other stuff like that. Uh, so it's going to be, it's been a real weird summer. Um, been a really, really strange summer with just everything going on and then trying to move back and getting all of the insurance and taxes and then moving papers. I'm moving a thousand miles is kind of a big feat. Uh, a lot of interesting stuff we have to do. Like we're selling uh, our extra, our second car, which is an, if you know anyone in central Arkansas that wants to buy a 2004 Grand Prix, it's, it's in decent shape. I drove it to work every day, but yeah, I'll give it to you cheap because we got to sell it in like the next week. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> just a little plug, you can send me an email and buy the car. No, don't. Oh, well, yeah, actually, if you, if you do want to buy it, I don't care. I, I need to sell it. Uh, but yeah, it's been a, just a, a mess um, of a summer. And I'm still glad that you guys are liking the content, liking the videos. We're still doing pretty strong. Uh, what is it? I think we're at like the 15 to 18 million views per month. Uh, the last week we had, oh yeah, the 17 million for the last 28 days, which is ridiculous. Um, I remember back last December, no, two Decembers ago, 2015, we had 1.7 million views on the channel in one month. And in the last uh, 48 hours, there's been 1.3 million. So, like, we're getting as many views in one or two days than we did in an entire month back then. So, I'm really appreciative to you guys. I uh, really am thankful for you guys coming out and supporting the channel, uh, whether it's through just watching videos or Patreon or just writing a comment down below. I really do like it. Uh, I read through probably uh, most of the comments as long as they don't get flagged by the spam filters and stuff like that. So uh, I guess I don't really have too much else to say. I'll be checking in again after I move to kind of give you guys a bit of an update. Hopefully 
in the next month or month and a half after I get it all settled up. Probably mid-September, because end of August is going to be busy too. So that's about all I've got to say uh, today. So kind of a disconjuncted mess of a video. Hopefully it's not too long of me rambling. But anyway, thank you guys. I do appreciate uh, everything that you've done here and taken my wife and I on a, a new journey in our next stage of life. Oh, so thank you for watching and keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. Oh yeah, uh, one more thing. Uh, my wife is pregnant. Babies do around mid-November sometime. So, <laughs> Mini Blitz is gonna have a sibling. So bye!